riding on my way Finally woke up with some luck in the buck I don't give a what someone, someone say Finally got my friends in the back on my roller We gon' make it big one day We gon' make it big, I say We gon' make it big, just stay in the Stay in the moon so welcome back to my channel i thought i would vlog today because well <laughs> today it is currently 7 34 and we've just pulled up at george's house it is her birthday on monday so we are going out for dinner tonight and i just thought i might vlog a little bit because maybe i'll do a couple days with me even though the last two days i've actually had quite a lot of fun been doing quite a bit this is my third night out for dinner i think in a row yeah. Fifth. 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 Wow, you should be vlogging, hon. <laughs> um, but I just keep forgetting to take the camera with me. And by the end of the day, and I'm like, I've had a really good day. I was thinking it would have been fun to vlog. However, I can update you on what I've been up to later. But for now, just got to G's. About to see the girls. And then we're heading out. So I'll get snippets from tonight. Who knows where the night will take. I mean, the, the night won't go very far. We're <laughs> Molly's driving and... I'm driving from yours later, yeah. so we're both actually getting Coke the car. Zeros for us. Not that you need alcohol to have a good time. No. We are the life and soul of the parties, even on Coke Zeros. True. Don't you worry about it. And we're going to have a great time. We Aren't are. We? We Let's are. go. <laughs> very cute. Hello. There we go. Okay. So I didn't really vlog too much last night, but had a really nice night out for George's birthday. I've decided maybe I'll turn this into like a weekly vlog because if I do snippets of each day, then I've finally done a proper week. So I normally start like halfway through the week. I know I've started quite randomly on a Saturday, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. But it's Sunday. I've just gone through some instant photos that I got printed. Uh, no, not instant photos. They're called film. So like you know the throwaway cameras i got some developed recently i'm actually waiting for three more cameras to get developed but i just got my ones from paris when we went for our anniversary and they're just so cute honestly i couldn't recommend using these cameras more and then i also found some ones that we had from the beauty works event around christmas time so this one's off to la tomorrow bit jealous la is one of my favorite places but cass has never been so I do think our trips would be very different. So I'll let him get it out of his system, all the crazy things that he wants to do. I personally like to do the touristy stuff, but 
I'll drag him around LA another time and do all that stuff. But last day chilling together. He's actually leaving me this evening to go back to his family home and pack. And then he has better train lines. I think I've mentioned this before. He has much better train lines in his area than where I live. So it makes more sense. Well, there was the option for me to take him to the airport, but... But what? You'd rather me slag a... Slag? <laughs> You'd rather me slump a crayon. Forget it. <laughs> we just got back from a beautiful Sunday roast and... What's going on in here then? Raiding my wardrobe for the, his trip. What are you hiding behind your back? Nothing. Show me. <laughs> Show me. Don't be embarrassed. Hey, look over there. Look, look, look. What are you taking? Hats. You can take the hats. I don't mind you taking the hats. Hold on. I did just see this one. This is literally what he's been doing all day. He's like, I'm just going to take some of your bits for holiday. Do you want to let him know? What did I say to you? I'm not really taking it, Sid. Where are you going? Go on. Go on. Going to the Lakers game. He booked a Lakers game today for two days' time. I think it looks cool. I mean, it pushes your curls quite flat to your head. You'll anyway, be, guys, I'm going to make a YouTube a channel when I'm out there. Cass in and LA. It's going to be 20 times better than her channel. Hashtag Cass takes LA. Yeah, like man. Oh, I miss you. <laughs> oh, by the way, as well, all she's done this week has been like, oh, yeah, you're going away, you're leaving me, so I'm going to do this. Just throwing digs left, right, Because you're leaving me for Valentine's Day. You know, so I'm going to go. 17 times a year. Yeah, but I don't need you for Valentine's Day. I love you every single day, dear. I don't need one day. That's what I thought. I need to go home anyway. Oh! <laughs> Got what I needed. You're rude. Off you go. Good evening. Just checking in. God, don't I look different to how I normally vlog? <laughs> I did my hair and makeup. I've done a video tonight of my go-to glam. So that will probably be up already by the time this vlogs up. Because obviously I'm going to vlog for the rest of the week. But it's actually quite fun to... God, this mirror is a bit dusty. It's actually quite fun to just get glammed in my hair. I've not waved my hair in so long. And now I've got nowhere to go. Literally to bed. But I've done a couple of TikToks, made the most of the glam because I've got quite a busy couple of days. And as soon as it hits tomorrow, I'm going to be going to the gym. Like every day. And that's when my hair gets super greasy and it's really hard to just maintain it. So I made the most. You know me. And... Cass has gone off to the airport tomorrow, so won't see him for a week. And he keeps saying, he, he's like, oh, if I like it, I might not come back. And I'm like, that's not a funny joke, is it? But I'm so jealous. I love LA so much. And he's never been. So I'm a bit like, I genuinely don't know if he's going to like it. Because I love it for, obviously, like, the famous reasons, like the views and what it's famous for, like Hollywood and doing like really touristy stuff and that's really not him. So LA has a thing where it's like you either love it or hate it, I think. That's why I always hear. His hair looks a little bit boxy, doesn't it? I've not done the roots properly. But yeah, no boyfriend this week and I'm going to be super productive because whenever he's here, we just literally slob out. But anyway, sad story. I'm going to go take off this makeup and get into bed and get ready for Monday morning. Gym in the morning and I will see you then. Good morning everybody. It's Monday and it's 9.07. God, I'm really tired today. My gym class starts at half nine. I've got to walk to the gym and it looks freezing out there. <sighs> got my joggers on so I can take them off at the gym. Some cycle shorts and it's absolutely battered. Nike sports bra, which I'm not gonna lie, it's probably older than some of you. <laughs> this is like, oh, this is at least 10 years old, but I am one of them people, if something fits me nice, we're not ever getting rid of you. I don't mind, it looks vintage, it's retro, but this is one of my favorite sports bras from Nike and they just don't make them like they used to. <sighs> but anyway, without further ado, let's get to the bloody gym. Let's get this over and done with. So it's quite a bit later. I'm in London now. I'm actually 
on Regent Street. The dedication, by the way, I've got my phone torch up right now because it's pretty dark, but you literally won't be able to see me. I cannot believe the reason that I'm in London right now. I'm still a little bit shocked, but Colour Wow have asked me to come in and have my hair done by Chris Appleton. Sorry, do you mean me? By Chris Appleton. If you guys don't know who Chris Appleton is, he's a celebrity hairstylist and he does hair for the likes of Kim Kardashian. One sec, just don't want to get run over before I meet Chris. Uh, JLo, he's literally hair god and I'm so honored to be invited by Colour Wow, work really closely with them. They're one of my favorite hair care brands and their products are just top notch. The Money Mask by Chris Appleton. So obviously, Chris Appleton works very closely with Colour Wow. He's got his Money Mask, it is insane. Hopefully we're walking the right way because I'm literally concentrating on having this as a torch. But yeah, I'm getting my hair done by him and I'm literally in such a daze that I think I've walked past it. So I'm just gonna figure out where I'm going, but yeah. I will obviously vlog and I'll show you guys and in a minute you're going to meet Chris Appleton. I'm so excited and he's going to sort out this barnet because honestly I'm a bit embarrassed going, going there with my hair like this. But I waved it last night so it's a little bit greasy but... Yeah. Right so I've just got to the salon in London and look who I'm here with. Oh, Hello, um, we're looking for TikToks. This line is unreal, isn't it? Yeah, we're just looking for a TikTok to do. I want to do a hair transition. So we're going to go from short to long. Yeah, we're going to... So my hair, like I always say, is quite an awkward length at the moment. So how long are we going? As long as we can go. As long as we can go. We're going to go... Just wait and see. About 24 inches. 24 inches. Have you had 24 inches before? I've got a 26 inch pony at home. Yeah, but that's high up. True. So you probably True. lose. Yeah, no, I haven't done. You probably 20. lose four inches, so it's probably a twenty-two inch. So <laughs> as long as hair, yeah. Long as hair, never. <laughs> yeah, I've not done twenty-four you're inches. You're like that. I'm like, is that? You're like, I've got a long. I've got. I've had. I've done longer. I guess once it's up like high, I've never done you're it like, quite that's high. Gonna, that's gonna feel short. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway, we're about to do my hair. You'll see it in a little while. Might do a little time lapse in a second, and I might insert the TikTok if we figure one out. But no, we've got a TikTok on the way. We have to do the transitions, right? We do have to do transitions. They're the fun bit. They are the They're fun bit. They're a pain in the ass to do, like it's so much work, but, but you look back it. and you're like, oh, that was fun. And they look like they took 30 seconds to make and they didn't. Yeah, they That's didn't. That's the real they truth. They take 30 <laughs> hours. So to make it blend, we hide these, and then what I do is I just basically, you know, the braids, just, you just, you just snip them a little bit at the root. Um, the scissors, and it just makes it like shorter, but obviously you get the extensions that pull over the top. So we'll basically just cut this braid off here. No, you're not. Wait, I just realized when you said trim it, I was like, trim it where? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're like this. Mm, yeah, I love that. Okay, like, no, no hair, no hair at the end. Sure. <laughs> Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind. Let the flame burn down for a while. Let the flame burn out for a while. Stay in the moon. It's like bitch. It's like a doorbell. Yay. Yay, thank you so much. Do you like it? I love it. I really, really like this. It's pretty. If I knew how to do this, I'd do it all the time. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Thank you so much. What's this look called? Just sleek plaits. Yeah. Oh, it's called... The Sydney. I don't know, it's like a 90s kind of vibe. You know, the Sydney, I like that. Thing. Oh, sorry. Little braid. You yeah, it's this. cute. <laughs> Yeah. What is this giving? That gives me... This is giving Coachella. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. Co this Coachella. is giving me Coachella vibes. But I love my hair. Let me show you in the mirror. We've gone for 24 inch long hair and then two little front braids. 
We use this one, the Extra Shine Spray, and the Style On Steroids as well. I would love to give you a tutorial on how to create this hair, but I have no idea. It is a big illusion, but I'm very happy with the outcome, and I've had so much fun here with Color Wild today. Just got back from the gym. I'm gonna have a bagel. Thin. Oh, I love bagels. I really like the thick, chunky ones, but. Gotta make small changes, huh? Not doing all this gym for nothing. Also, I thought I'd do a quick little like life slash health update because I just, by the way, I'm gonna be walking all over the place. Otherwise I literally will just stand and chat and not get anything done. I'm also gonna make a smoothie. Not had a smoothie in a while either. But I had a phone call with my doctor today and it's been booked in for a while. I've never spoke about this online actually, just because I don't really have much progression to kind of discuss. So basically last summer, I can't remember what month to be honest, but I decided to come off my pill. And in all honesty, I did, I, was, I think I was a little bit naive where I felt like my body would just be completely fine and not that my body's not fine but I thought it would be really straightforward simple I'd just come off the pill and feel like 10 10 and normal it's not as straightforward as that obviously you hear all these stories on TikTok and social media and just if you google it you'll be able to read people's stories that's probably why I haven't said anything because Everyone's story is so different. Yeah, I came off the pill in the summer last year and I've not had a, actually, no, that's not how it started. So I've been on the pill probably for about eight years. Oh my God, my bagel's so burnt. <laughs> oh, who's turned my toaster up? Cassius. It's burnt. Yeah, I've been on the pill since I was 16 and I'm 24 now. So it's been a while and I never felt awful on the pill, but I've been through a few different pills for different reasons, like not agreeing with it, skin problems, etc., etc. And I just got to a stage where I was like, right, I'm adult enough to do this thing on my own, like natural ways, you know, because there are other ways, you know, I'm not going to go into that. Anyway, I... But just before I finally decided to come off it, my periods completely stopped whilst I was on the pill, which is abnormal for me. I don't know if it's like abnormal as a whole. Again, like I'm not a health professional, like I don't know the facts, but so I was like, you know what? That's the one thing that the pill probably gave me joy with is <laughs> my periods were very regular. And growing up, I didn't really have regular periods when I was a younger teen and doctors always said it was because I was really active. I used to swim around two hours a day and if you're super active, it can throw your cycle off, blah, 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 blah. So that was kind of like the decision for me. I was like, right, I was thinking of coming off anyway. The one thing I liked it doing, like giving me periods and peace of mind and stuff, it's not doing it anymore. So it's almost defeating the object for me. So come off it and I've not had a period since. And I'm not concerned because, like I said, I didn't really have periods growing up, like, often. I, sometimes, I remember one year, I think I had one period when I wasn't on a pill or anything. So, not super concerned, but then at the same time, I'm in my mid-20s. It's something that I do want to get to the bottom of, and I would just like some answers. So, I'm taking it seriously. I had a phone call with the doctor probably around... October so that was like a few months after I'd not had a period and they were pretty chill just like oh your body can take a while to get back to normal which I'm fully aware of I'm not stupid like I've heard so many people tell me like even friends and family like it takes a while for your body to get back to normal so she was like listen we'll get to the bottom of it but call back around December Christmas time and also they had on my records that I'd had 
Oh, another story. I think I'd done a story at some point in a vlog years ago, but I had a copper coil about three years ago and opposite I bled for about five six months straight so they had on my records that obviously I have had periods I've had strong periods um and also I've had scans and I've had ultrasounds blah blah, blah. so they'd seen like this region a fair bit within like the last five years so they weren't like there's something wrong cut to obviously it was Christmas I didn't ring in January I was just going to give it an extra month so I can be like right I've waited the time so I rang last week and I just booked an appointment and they rang me today and I had a different doctor actually because my the doctor I've been speaking to is on annual leave and he was so helpful and I was actually, not to give like a stereotype, I don't know, I hope this doesn't offend anyone, this is just my personal opinion, but you always see things like, don't see a male doctor and expect them to be sympathetic about like the female body and stuff. But he was so, so lovely and it was just over the phone and I explained everything and he was like, no, like it's so important to get this sorted. So cut to, I'm going to have a blood test next week. I'm going to check everything out and if there's something wrong there we're going to take the next step or if there's not something wrong we'll take another step and we're going to figure it out and i've just never mentioned it because it's something i forget about again some of my friends are like you don't have periods that's so nice i'm like yeah on that side it is but then the day i only have kids like you know i'd rather take them steps if it's i know it could take a year or two to figure out what's going on and I know it can take a few years coming off the pill for your body to regulate anyway. And then I know some people fall pregnant really easily a month after coming off the pill. And it's not that I want to have a baby right this second. But it's something that in the next few years I want the option if it's there. You know? So that's my update. But yeah. Now I'm eating my bagel and I will check in with you in a little while. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my super boring story. Good evening. I've barely vlogged today. I've not been up so much though. Wow. Yeah, I've literally done nothing today. Well, have I? I don't know where the day's gone. It's quarter to 11. I just watched the Brit Awards, which is very good. I felt quite pathetic watching it on my own though, singing along to all the songs. Me and Nan were voice noting. But the other day, Oh. The other day I printed um, loads of photos. I used to do this all the time, but then I got to a stage where I had so many photos, like boxes and boxes of photos, and I just didn't know where to put them all. I realized I haven't printed photos in so, 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 so long. Mexico! So I just got loads of photos printed to put in some photo albums. And also, I realized the other day, I'm on operation, finished the flat. I'm sick of it. Like, I'm actually sick of it. And it's li it's pretty much done. But I feel like I've not got the motivation to always have it looking really nice and tidy because I know in my head that it's not finished. I've obviously, I've got the last bathroom to do, which is starting this weekend, thank God. I don't think this bathroom will take as long as the other one. But there's just, like, tiny little tweaks here and there. But it's nearly done. Anyway, I was looking around my flat the other day and I was like, I don't, actually don't have any photos. Like, this could be a show home and you wouldn't even know who the owner is. So, I was in HomeSense the other day and I saw this. I think it's quite cute. It's quite random. I don't really love the look of photo frame. So, I liked how this is kind of gold and cream and it's tied in. And I ordered, obviously, these prints. But this these frames are bigger than, like, your average 6 by 4 So, I got two bigger ones. So these are the two photos that I got printed. They're from the same night in Mexico. Aww, looks really cute. Look at that. Oh, I love that. It just adds a little bit of personality, you know? I need to get a few of the fam, which I've got loads here, but I just kind of like the idea of black and white prints. When I move again somewhere bigger, I will definitely do 
like a little feature wall somewhere. That is pretty much a wrap from me today. How weird. I'll quickly mention. <laughs> Cass literally says good morning to me at this time now because he's obviously in America at the moment. And I'm going to bed. So we're literally barely speaking. <laughs> but bless him, he looks like he's having so much fun. I've just been sending him loads of videos, watching the Brit Awards. Like he actually cares when he's got this as his view. Oh, how the other half live. We've definitely switched roles at the moment. Also, I didn't really speak anymore when I got in last night, but I still can't believe I got my hair done by Chris Appleton. What the hell? He was so nice. Honestly, so nice. It's so weird. He's got such a nice personality where you feel like you've known him for a really long time. But yeah, I let him take full control. I just said, I don't mind what you do with my hair. We didn't know whether we were gonna stick to my short hair, but I'm glad we put extensions in. By the way, they were only temporary. They were like just clip-ins. A few of them were glued in, but I washed them out this morning. Such an amazing moment, honestly. That's when I had to take a step back and I'm like, whoa, that was me, you know? How did I end up getting here to be selected as one of the people to have my hair done by him? That like there was five of us, I think. So Abby Roberts, Sarah Ashcroft, Saffron Barker, Jamie Genevieve and me. So even to be in that bunch of influencers, like, honestly, such a pinch me moment. But I'm so grateful for moments like this because it kind of just reminds me how far I've come and that I'm still achieving big things, you know. So I think I'm going to put what I've got so far together in this vlog. I've done four or five days. And I know I said I'd make this a weekly vlog, but I did weirdly start on a Saturday, which, who does that? But the next couple of days are really fun that are coming up. I'm going on a spa day tomorrow with Georgia and Emily for Georgia's birthday. And then Thursday, back with Chris Appleton, we've got a really exciting dinner with Colour Wow. And then few home renovations going on at the weekend. So I think maybe I'll start another stupid half week vlog. And yeah, I might just wrap this here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this vlog. This is definitely my thing, vlogging. So let me know. I want some honest opinions. Shall I just stick to doing vlogs? I feel like it's what I'm good at. I did a makeup video the other day and I did really enjoy it. But it just took me, it even took me so long to edit because it's just not my, I don't know, I just don't think it's my style of video. I feel like this is more me. You see more of my personality, you see what I'm up to and I just love sharing my life with you all. But yeah, maybe I should do a haul soon actually. I love hauls as well. Anyway, I'm waffling. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.